بال نجاتنا فتمسكي بعراه كي لا نغرقا Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Welcome to Global Aid Trust Q Factor with myself as your host, Qari Mushid Habib. Alhamdulillah, we have reached day four of our quarterfinals where it's already been a hectic start with a number of talent coming all across the UK. Alhamdulillah, we have also today a large number of talent, of course, waiting as always to be heard by myself and of course my judges and of course my beloved viewers. Before I go to introduce my audience who are with me today and of course my beloved Qurra who are with me today, I must take a few moments to introduce my judges who will be of course helping me and of course helping you decide which of the students today get to go through to the next round inshallah so inshallah if I can first introduce my regular judge alhamdulillah who has been helping me all the way from the live rounds till today alhamdulillah providing the best of services in the studies of Quran and of course being a teacher in Quran himself allowing us to receive the privilege of knowing the best of tajweed inshallah assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullah to you sheikh farooq jazakallah khairan uh, of course you don't require any uh, introduction because my my family of course out there my beloved viewers of course they've been watching all these weeks and seeing you helping me along the way insha'Allah we also have one of our guest judges who has been joining us uh, regularly throughout the show graduate of Jamia to Medina Medina University who of course again uh, being a teacher in the field of Quran providing us with his services in the field of Quran Alhamdulillah I'm glad to introduce to you Sheikh uh, Mishkat as I know him but of course some of you may also know him as Sheikh Abul Barakat Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullah to you Alaikum wa rahmatullah Jazakallah khairan for your time Ustaz Alhamdulillah uh, it's a privilege to have you on the show as always Jazakallah khairan well, my judges, of course, have a smile on their faces. They seem ready. But of course, as you know, uh, throughout the quarterfinals, we have a live audience who, of course, allow us to uh, see the talent firsthand at, uh, in the studio and, of course, allowing uh, my beloved viewers to, of course, see the talent from their houses. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullah to everyone. Jazakumullah khairan for everyone for being here. And I hope that everyone enjoys the show today, inshallah, as much as I do. Of course, as you can see, the talent is sitting at the front waiting for their time to come on to the platform and of course recite for us. But before I do, some basic rules for my viewers to take note of if you are watching for the first time. The uh, Qurra, the students, they have a maximum of two minutes to recite from the Quran from a place that will be picked by the judges. They, have, uh, they are allocated three parts, of course, from the ten, first ten jewels, the second ten jewels, and the last ten jewels of the Quran. The judges will pick the part from them, and then they will, of course, recite from that chosen part. They have a maximum of two minutes to recite from it, and they will be marked down on any lahna jani mistakes, any major mistakes, and any lahna khafi mistakes, any minor mistakes. But, of course, as always, my students seem ready to the fullest, and I'm sure they will be reading to the experts excellent form insha'Allah. Before I go straight to my uh, contestants who are waiting very patiently, I will take a moment to talk to my judges insha'Allah. Mm -hmm. Sheikh Farooq, alhamdulillah, uh, we are on day four. Uh, we are seeing, of course, the talent every day. Yesterday we had some amazing talent from our young siblings, you know, our young brothers and sisters, very young ages, you know, uh, showing off their talent in the Quran of how much they are practicing every day. Uh, what are you expecting today, inshallah, so from the contestants today, inshallah? I hope that, inshallah, today is going to be better than yesterday. Inshallah. Because as a Muslim, always we should have hope, something better coming. Of Next course, time. of course. It will be hard uh, for them, of course, the considering the level of talent they showed yesterday, but yeah. I'm sure. Yeah, could yeah. be. Uh, it depends on always we should have hope that there's something coming up better than what we had before. Of course. So, inshallah, uh, normally, personally, uh, if I do always enjoy reciting and listening to the Quran. Yes. That's why uh, I'm sure, inshallah, and those people are with us until the last moment of this event they will get reward from Allah inshallah. and they will listening to that inshallah and they will inspire I think uh, this event this sort of program is really important for our community of course because what I can say in Europe in all over the I mean Europe even sometime I think America as well people are watching this program yes 
and it is beneficial for the parents it is beneficial for the people who are really connected or just join with the quran recitation reading teaching learning so it is really helpful alhamdulillah and always you should have this sort of hope that inshallah my son or my daughters they will have chance to do better next time inshallah inshallah i think this is very good advice to my viewers of course who are waiting patiently at home and watching uh sheikh mishkat of course uh <coughs> Those students who are with us today, some may not be going through today, of course, the challenge is very tight and of course some have already left the competition, but of course there are some at home. Is this show only the, the only platform for them to be coming on board to recite the Qur'an or is the, uh, the goal of learning Qur'an bigger than that? W what is your view on this? What is your very brief thoughts on this, inshallah? Jazakumullah khair, a uh, very good point to touch on. Alhamdulillah, <coughs> most of the participants who have uh, who are participating? Shall I say, uh, Alhamdulillah, all of all of them, uh, they are, they have really put on a great effort, and I think those of you that are here today, um, there might be some of you that may not go through, and those also that we've seen before uh, that didn't go through. Um, there's nothing to worry about. I mean, Subhanallah, to come here live on national television or international television and to be able to, as I've said before on another show, the confidence, to show the confidence to come here. Many elderly, uh, shall I say, adults can't do so and you've come here, alhamdulillah. So really well done to you and it doesn't stop there. You can continue. Um, there are other competitions you can find out about. You can also go and participate because once you've tried, you can always improve and you can find your mistakes and do better in the next competition because then you know where you went wrong so that's one of those things and also obviously you will you are getting the reward and your parents and all the people that are supporting you so there's nothing absolutely to worry about inshallah inshallah i think this is very good sound advice for even those who are watching at home that only a competition of course as much as it is there to encourage our students to be participating in the learning of Quran aside from that the the goal of learning the Quran is much bigger than that and of course as much as there's ajr in gaining this there's also much more rewards to be won within competitions without any further delay coming to the moment that all my respected viewers have been waiting for I will call upon my Quran now who have been waiting very patiently so if I can first call upon Maha Shafaq to come and join me on the stage inshallah Alhamdulillah, Maha, only eight years of age, looking very confident, and I'm sure she will be reciting very confidently. But let's take a moment to talk to her family who are with us today, insha'Allah. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullah. Wa alaikum assalam wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Has Maha been practicing a lot at home? Alhamdulillah, yeah, she's always at, at it every day, mashallah. Alhamdulillah, is she, is she uh, trying to memorize the Quran at the same time? She has memorized one juice, but when she's been through a few competitions, Alhamdulillah. Mashallah, she's done very well. She's progressing yeah. through that. Yeah. Alhamdulillah, Jazakallah khair. And I think this is very positive to hear that only at the tender age of eight, already taking part in competition and trying to memorize it from the Quran. Assalamu alaikum to you, Maha. Wa alaikum assalam. How are you doing today? Alhamdulillah. Are you feeling confident? Yes. Okay, if you're ready, inshallah, without any further delay, I will call, call upon uh, Sheikh Mishkat, inshallah, to pick a part for Maha to recite from. Okay, Maha, I'd like, to, I li I'd like you to recite from part one, please. A'udhu billahi minash shaytanir rajeem Bismillahirrahmanirrahim Ya وَلَا تَمُوتُنَّ إِلَّا وَأَنْتُمْ مُسْلِمُونَ وَاعْتَصِمُوا بِحَبْلِ اللَّهِ Wow. 
Okay, Maha, I will have to stop you there. Unfortunately, I know you haven't finished your ayah, but MashaAllah, well done to you. Reciting in the Mujawad style. MashaAllah, before I continue, I'll let inshallah Sheikh uh, Mishkat to give your thoughts on Maha's recitation, inshallah. Uh, MashaAllah, well done to you. Amazing recitation. We really enjoyed that. Um, MashaAllah, Mujawad, uh, really nice uh, recitation. Just. Uh, I don't have much to say. I mean, mashallah, your maharaj is perfect. You know, all the letters are quite clear. Just to be careful, sometimes when you say, uh, for example, muslimun, yeah, instead of stretching the, the letter too much, you know, if it's one haraka, like muslimun, not muslimun, try to keep it, you know, consistent. So some letters, if they have kasra or dhamma, you need to have the same cons consistency, okay? Just the same uh, stretch. If it's a short stretch, then short stretch, okay? And um, just be careful about your ikhfa kuntum, yeah? Just uh, be careful about it. But alhamdulillah, very nice. Um, and inshallah, um, we wish you well, inshallah. Alhamdulillah, well paced recitation nice. and very glad to hear from, of course, an eight year old. What are your thoughts on that, Maha? Feeling confident still? Inshallah. Well done to you, Maha. Inshallah, you can return to your seat. Jazakillahu khairan to you. <laughs> Alhamdulillah, already to a good start in the show, listening to our youngsters uh, perfecting the Quran in some of its better form. Let me move on to my next contestant now, my next Qari, Inshallah. If I could kindly invite Hamidul Islam to come and join me on the stage, Inshallah. Hamidul only 10 years old, but of course, looking as confident as every single one of my Qurra. Let me see where Hamidul's family are, inshallah. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullah. Alaikum wa rahmatullah. Has Hamidul been practicing uh, um, during the holidays and during his time to be uh, learning his Quran properly? Yes, he has been working very hard for the last two weeks. MashaAllah, MashaAllah. So he has been uh, sitting down reading regularly? Yeah, regularly. For He recites for one hour daily. MashaAllah, Half an hour in the morning, half an hour in the morning. MashaAllah, Alhamdulillah. Assalamu alaikum to you, Hamidun. Alaikum assalam. How are you doing today? Fine, Alhamdulillah. You feeling confident? Yes. Alhamdulillah, your smile tells me that you are feeling very confident. So, inshallah, I will ask Sheikh Farooq to kindly pick a place for Hamidul to recite from, inshallah. Okay, Hamidul, how are you? Good? Yeah. Okay, could you recite from part three, please? <laughs> أعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم الرحمن علم القرآن خلق الإنسان علمه البيان الشمس والقمر بحسبان والنجم والشجر يسجدان والسماء رفعها ووضع الميزان ألا تطغوا في الميزان 
وَأَقِيمُوا الْوَزْنَ بِالْقِسْطِ وَلَا تُخْسِرُوا الْمِيزَانِ وَالْأَرْضَ وَضَعَهَا لِلْأَنَامِ فِيهَا فَاكِهَةٌ وَالنَّخْلُ ذَاتُ الْأَكْمَامِ وَالْحَبُّ ذُو الْعَصْفِ وَالْوَيْحَانِ فبأي آلاء ربكما تكذبان خلق الإنسان من صلصال كالفخار وخلق الجان من مارج من نار فبأي آلاء ربكما تكذبان رب المشرقين ورب المغربين فبأي آلاء ربكما تكذبان Okay, Hamidul. Sadaqallahu al-Azim. Jazakallahu khairan to you, Hamidul. Very nicely paced. Before, of course, I asked Sheikh Farooq, I think, I, of course, I'm not here to judge, but I did notice, alhamdulillah, Hamidul, you know, on the side of his hands, counting his mudud to make sure that his mad are correct. And alhamdulillah, always admirable to see our students taking such care. <laughs> Sheikh Farooq, inshallah, what are your thoughts on Hamidul's recitation, inshallah? Jazakallah Hamidul, thank you so much. You recited really, really well. Alhamdulillah. May Allah accept your recitation. Inshallah. And may Allah give you reward for your recitation Amen. and give reward to your parents as well because Inshallah. your parents prepare you at this stage. You're here, Alhamdulillah. Alhamdulillah. So there are a few things if you are really, if you consider, then I'm sure Inshallah your recitation will be much better. The thing is, uh, you never made any lahne jelly is a major mistake what you make there are minor things it's called lahne khafi a shamsu you know the scene this is hams and jihar have a heart of it no there should be scene should be clearly pronounced a shamsu okay and then orafa'aha the ayn it should be pronounced clearly orafa'aha orafa'a a it should be clearly pronounced it means it was a bit i think it's a down so and raw, you know the raw. Well, arda. Raw. There are two ways we can pronounce it. Is it tarqiq and tafkhim? So when fatha followed by raw sakin, then raw is pronounced heavily in a full mouth. So well, arda wada'aha. Well, arda ar. Okay. So if this sort of body rules, you look into that. Definitely, your recitation will be much better. But I would say. You recite it really well. May Allah bless you. Amen. And may Allah give you more tawfiq to recite, inshallah, better next time, inshallah. Inshallah. Okay? Jazakallah. Jazakallah khairan to you, Sheikh Farooq. Alhamdulillah, some good advice for you. Will you be practicing those things when you go home, inshallah? Yes, inshallah. Hamidul? Jazakallah khairan to you, Hamidul. Inshallah, you can return to your seat now. We've already managed to listen to two of our reciters reciting, mashallah, very beautifully and very <laughs> melodiously from the Quran. But we still have a number of more of my Qur'a waiting patiently. So, inshallah, I will call upon uh, Amina Jama to, inshallah, come and join me on stage, inshallah. <laughs> Alhamdulillah, Amina looking very much confident at only 11 years of age. But, inshallah, let's see what Amina's family have to say. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullah. Wa alaikum salam wa rahmatullah wa barakatuh. Alhamdulillah, Amina looks very confident, has a very nice smile on her face. Is she as confident as she looks? Yeah, she is, yeah, mashallah. Alhamdulillah. Has she been practicing at home for her learning? Yeah, yeah, she's been practicing, yeah, over the past two weeks, alhamdulillah. Alhamdulillah. And who has been helping her more, mom or dad? Um, me and Ustad. Okay. I was started from mosque. Yeah. MashaAllah, MashaAllah. Alhamdulillah, yeah, always mothers seem to be sometimes helping more <laughs> than the fathers, but of yeah, course, mashallah. this is something honorable. Uh, Jazakillah khairan. Sometimes we notice, of course, fathers sometimes tend to be a bit more busy, but mothers always making sure that their children are performing to their best. Assalamu alaikum to you, Amina. Alaikum How are you doing today? Uh, fine, alhamdulillah. You look very confident. Are you confident? Yes. Alhamdulillah. I'm glad to hear that you are confident. So on that note, I will ask Sheikh Mishkat, inshallah, to pick a place for you to recite from. Uh, Amina, I'd like you to recite from part one, please. Okay. Part 
أعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم ألف لام م ذلك الكتاب لا ريب فيه هدى للمتقين الذين يؤمنون بالغيب ويقيمون الصلاة ومما رزقناهم مما رزقناهم ينفقون والذين يؤمنون بما أنزل إليك وما وما أنزل من قبلك وبالآخرة هم يوقنون أولئك على هدى من ربهم وأولئك هم المفلحون إن الذين كفروا سواء عليهم أأنذرتهم أأنذرتهم أم لم تنذرهم لا يؤمنون ختم الله على قلوبهم وعلى سمعهم وعلى أبصارهم غشاوة ولهم عذاب عظيم ومن الناس من يقول آمنا بالله وباليوم الآخر وما هم بمؤمنين يخادعون الله والذين آمنوا وما يخدعون إلا أنفسهم وما يشعرون آمين I will have to show you there MashaAllah, MashaAllah, MashaAllah You look very confident during your recitation as you had a very big smile on throughout your entire recitation and I'm sure we will hear good remarks from Ustaz Mishkat, inshallah. Sheikh Mishkat, what is your thoughts on Amina's recitation? I didn't want to stop her, but of course the timer ended, so I had to stop her. But what are your thoughts, we, inshallah? We, the same here. We wanted to continue listening, mashallah. Mashallah. Your recitation was really, really, alhamdulillah, with tune and very nice to listen to. Um, and mashallah, alayki. Uh, well done to you. And um, I think. I mean, apart from just a couple of things, you're really, really there, you know, mashallah, you're doing really brilliantly in terms of your recitation. So uh, just a bit of advice from uh, us. Um, um, in terms of your ra, uh, you know, your makharij, sometimes just uh, be careful about it. And Ustad actually mentioned um, before in the show as well, um, you have Tarqiq and you have tafkhim, okay, where you have empty mouth and full mouth and this issue with the ra you need to be just careful about. So when you say uh raib, yeah, and also akhirati, akhirati ra, yeah. Uh it, I didn't hear the ra with uh, full mouth. So that was really the main one that I sort of thought that you can work on and that will really improve your uh, recitation, inshallah. inshallah. But I really, inshallah. really, we really enjoyed it, inshallah. alhamdulillah. Definitely. So, mashallah, well done to you. Jazakallah khairan well to, well to you, Sheikh Mishkat, inshallah. I think uh, Sheikh's feedback seems very good and there are slight things, of course, you need to practice on, inshallah, to make sure that it does get better, inshallah, inshallah of course. Amina, jazakallah khairan well to you, inshallah. Amina, you can return to your seat. Alhamdulillah, a very good start to today's show. We already list, we have already listened to three of our reciters who have delivered fantastically, and I know today's show will be very hard for my judges to judge on uh, due to the level of, co of consistency from all of them. So, inshallah, we'll move to my next reciter now. If I can kindly invite Yusuf Muhammad Khaliq to come and join me on stage, inshallah. Our young brother Yusuf, of very young age, only of this uh, age of uh, seven, but of course looking li very confident like all of my reciters, inshallah. If I can speak to Yusuf's family for a minute, inshallah. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullah. Wa alaikum assalam wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Jazakallah khairan for coming here today. If I am noticing correctly, Yusuf also maybe has a sibling on today, and it seems like you have come all the way from Swansea today to be with us. <laughs> exactly. MashaAllah, it has been a long journey for you. I'm sure a tiresome journey, but of course, I'm sure during the whole journey along this show, too, they have been working very hard. 
inshallah yeah they, they work a lot for okay alhamdulillah teaching. and uh both uh the siblings practicing uh the quran are they trying to memorize the quran yes both uh both of them memorizing in alhamdulillah the mosque, how much has yusuf memorized at the yusuf, moment yusuf uh 30th para Okay, mashallah. So and Hamza, inshallah, is altogether seven para him. Mashallah, mashallah. So both brothers, uh, well, we'll still have a brother to see, but <coughs> Yusuf, alhamdulillah, already learning. Mashallah, jazakallah khairan to Yusuf, father, for making sure that they could come all the way from Swansea today. Assalamu alaikum warahmatullahi Yusuf. Wa alaikum assalam. How are you feeling today? Fine, alhamdulillah. Alhamdulillah. Have you been practicing a lot? Yes. Okay, good, good to hear. Inshallah, we'll ask Sheikh Farooq to kindly pick a place for Yusuf to recite from. Could you recite from part three, please? A'udhu billahi minash shaytanir rajim. Bismillahi rahmani rahim. عما يتساءلون عن النبأ العظيم الذي هم فيه مختلفون كلا سيعلمون ثم كلا سيعلمون أَلَمْ نَجْعَلِ الْأَرْضَ مِهَادًا وَالْجِبَالَ أَوْتَادًا وَخَلَقْنَاكُمْ أَزْوَاجًا وَجَعَلْنَا نَوْمَكُمْ سُبَاتًا وَجَعَلْنَا اللَّيْلَ لِبَاسًا وَجَعَلْنَا النَّهَارَ مَعَاشًا وَبَنَيْنَا فَوْقَكُمْ سَبْعًا شِدَادًا وَجَعَلْنَا سِرَاجًا وَحَاجًا وَأَنْزَلْنَا مِنَ الْمُعْصِرَاتِ مَا Mashallah, Mashallah, Yusuf, only seven years of age, but reading, Mashallah, to some of the stature of, of our older brothers and siblings. Mashallah, well done to you. Sheikh Farooq, inshallah, what are your thoughts on Yusuf's recitation? Allah, well, I'm really impressed. This only only seven years old. Mashallah. The way he recited, Makharij al Huruf. Allahu Akbar. Masha'a. I think uh, one of the best uh, students, whoever, when I, he's with us, inshallah, today, you'd say that one of the best the last two, three weeks, only the seven years, the way he pronounced the letters, it is really amazing. Masha'a. And surprising, really. And all credits to the parents Alhamdulillah. who send this young boy to the madrasa or the masjid or wherever, wherever. I'm sure he is practicing really, really good. Allahu Akbar. Just only one more point. You didn't make any lahane jelly mistake. Lahane khafi, just only one point I would say that. That is ikhfa. You know, the ikhfa is, tajweed means to beautify the Quran, the beautification. There are a number of tajweed rules. If anyone knows, then your recitation will be better. That's why tajweed means tajweed. So ikfa is the to make nasal sound. The tanbeen and unsakin followed by one of the 15 letters. You have to make ikfa properly. The That means something should come here. So if you can practice on that only, I am sure your recitation will be really 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 better and on the one day inshallah it will be the big shaykh and big qari inshallah jazakallah <laughs> khairan to you sheikh farooq alhamdulillah very good words from our shaykh yusuf feeling confident still yes alhamdulillah a very big smile i'm sure my viewers are enjoying as much as yusuf has enjoyed yusuf inshallah you can return to your seat alhamdulillah speaking of talent of course now we have the sibling of yusuf muhammad khaliq if i can invite muhammad hamza khaliq to come and join me on stage inshallah 
Well, I personally think that Hamza, uh, Hamza's brother Yusuf has set a very high bar for the brother. But inshallah, we will see how Hamza does uh, during his recitation. But uh, to Hamza's parents for a moment, inshallah, how is Hamza uh, doing at uh, home in his uh, recitation? Is he practicing on a regular basis? Yes, he is practicing regular basis, inshallah. Alhamdulillah. And is he helping his younger brother in his learning? Too? Yes, he, he helped a lot. Alhamdulillah, Alhamdulillah, Jazakallah khairan. I think this is very important. Of course, we always mention the teachers, the mothers, the fathers of helping. But of course, it also falls upon the brothers and sisters to be helping their siblings too. Assalamu alaikum to you, Hamza. How are you doing? Wa alaikum assalam wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. I'm, I'm fine, Alhamdulillah. Alhamdulillah. You're feeling confident today? Yes. You're feeling more confident than Yusuf? Yes. Inshallah, inshallah, good to hear. So, okay, I would kindly ask Sheikh uh, Mishkat, inshallah, to kindly pick a part for Hamza to recite from. Uh, I'd like you to recite from part uh, three, please. Yes. Part three. أعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم يا أيها الذين آمنوا اتقوا الله ولتنظر نفس ما قدمت لغد وَاتَّقُوا اللَّهِ إِنَّ اللَّهَ خَبِيرٌ بِمَا تَعْمَلُونَ وَلَا تَكُونُوا كَالَّذِينَ نَسُوا اللَّهَ فَأَنْسَاهُمْ أَنْفُسَهُمْ أُولَئِكَ هُمُ الْفَاسِقُونَ لا يستوي أصحاب النار وأصحاب الجنة أصحاب الجنة هم الفائزون لو أنزلنا هذا القرآن على جبل لرأيته خاشعا لرأيته خاشعا متصدعا من خشية الله وتلك الأمثال نضربها للناس لعلهم يتفكرون هو الله الذي لا إله إلا هو عالم الغيب والشهادة هو الرحمن الرحيم حمزة Allah. Sorry, sorry, sorry. I'm very sorry, but I have to stop you. Two minutes is up. Masha Allah, Masha Allah. Well done to you. I think you wanted to continue, and everyone else wanted in the studio wanted to let you continue. But I'm sure they will not be angry with me because your two minutes, of course, had to end. But of course, the judging lies to Sheikh Mishkat, inshallah, who of course seems very happy <laughs> with Sheikh Farooq. But inshallah, I will allow you to give some feedback to uh, our brother Hamza, inshallah. <laughs> I don't know what, uh, I think you're lost for words as yeah, much as everyone else is. At this moment, mashallah, I'm really happy with your recitation and your confidence is mashallah amazing to you know we really we just we don't know what to say. So <laughs> just, <laughs> alhamdulillah. But alhamdulillah, um, it shows that you've really practiced and you've really worked hard and alhamdulillah may Allah reward your parents and reward Amen. you and everybody that supported you alhamdulillah Amen. your teachers your asati that everybody um i mean it's really hard to pick out any mistakes i mean uh, uh, in terms of your recitation it was really good um sometimes when you uh, do with, with tune alhamdulillah it's beautiful but um when you're stretching um you got to be careful not to stretch uh, too much or too little you, you know when you're going through a tune in for example uh, and uh, that's j you just need to be careful about that so when you're stretching be careful about those things and uh, there was one right in the beginning when you said uh, ayyuha you know the shadda you didn't say it clearly ayyuha yeah 
uh, you went straight into what you're reciting. But I think because you're reciting, alhamdulillah, when you got into flow, it was very good. MashaAllah. So well done to you. MashaAllah. Yeah. Well, we're really uh, pleased with that. Barakallahu feek to you, Sheikh Mishkat, inshaAllah. I think very well sound done. advice. And I'm sure, Sent. as always, there's room for improvement within always. all recitation. And I'm sure, Hamza, you'll be doing so. Jazakallah khairan. Hamza, you can return to your seat now, inshaAllah. Wa alaikum as Alhamdulillah, I think as much as my audience here are stunned and mesmerized by all the recitation, I'm sure my respected viewers are at home. So I will, of course, move on to my next reciter now, my next Qari, inshallah. I will kindly invite Muhammad Yunus bin Kalam to come and join me on stage, inshallah. Muhammad Yunus bin Kalam, only 11 years of age, but looking confident as anyone. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullah. Our young brother Muhammad, he looks very confident. What are your thoughts? Is he as confident as he looks? Yeah, he is confident. Yeah. Alhamdulillah. Has, uh, are you his uh, dad? Dad? Okay, yeah. mashallah. Very young looking family, so I thought <laughs> maybe his brother even. But um, uh, how is Muhammad doing at home? Is he practicing a lot in He's his recitation? He's practicing this week very lot, yeah. He has been spending the whole yeah, week, whole reci week reciting. actually practicing for this. MashaAllah, that is good to hear. And has his family been helping him? Yeah, especially her mom. Ma MashaAllah, of course, the mother's always helping, yeah, Alhamdulillah. And, Ustad. Uh, and uh, is uh, Muhammad trying to memorize from the Quran also? Yeah, he does. On uh, seven Jude, yeah. MashaAllah, yes. MashaAllah. Jazakallah khairan. I think okay. a very sound yes. reminder to, of course, my viewers that as much as you are trying to perfect your Quran in its recitation, also trying to perfect it in preserving it is also a very important uh, stress upon Muslims, inshaAllah. Let me go to Muhammad now. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullah. Would you like me to call you Muhammad or would you like me to call you Yunus? Uh, Yunus. Yunus. Okay, I will call you Yunus, inshallah. <coughs> if I can ask Sheikh uh, Farooq to kindly pick a place for Yunus to recite from. Could you recite from part one, please? A'udhu billahi minash shaytanir rajeem Bismillahir rahmanir rahim Alif Lam Mim Thalik Al-Kitab La Raib Fih Hudan Lil-Muttaqeen Al-Lazina Yuminuna Bil-Ghaib Wa Yuqimuna Al-Salata Wa Mim You finished perfectly within your two minutes. Jazakallah khairan to you. Very well paced and very well delivered. Sheikh Farooq, your thoughts, inshallah, very briefly, inshallah, if I have to head to a break. I told you, beginning of the show, that today is going to be the better than yesterday. Inshallah, oh, clearly the proving. The six uh, we numbers we have finished. Alhamdulillah, thank you so much. You recited really, really well. May Allah accept your recitation. Ameen, ameen. We listen to 
and we make sense of dua for you inshallah one day you will be the big shaykh and big qari inshallah Ameen, inshallah just only one thing you didn't make any lahnajali mistakes just only one thing i would say this is very difficult to practice the raw raw tafkhim and tarqiq the empty mouth and full mouth there are big big shaykh they make a mistake so you have to have a lot of practice on that okay so hudam mir rabbihim it's not mir rabbihim raw will not be pronounced with Tafkhim here will be empty mouth because raw before it is kasra mir rabbihim. So if you can look into this particular rule, I'm sure you have nice voice. Allah has given you nice voice. Alhamdulillah. So if you practice on just minor things, your recitation will be really enjoyable. Insha'Allah. People will listen to it and make sense of dua for you. Insha'Allah. Jazakallah right. khairan to you, Sheikh Farooq. Alhamdulillah, some good advice for you, Yunus. Uh, and I'm sure you will be practicing it too, inshallah. Uh, well, there you have it. We've already listened to six of our reciters. But uh, before we continue with any more of our reciters, I must go on a short break, inshallah. But inshallah, join me after the break to listen to the remainder of my Qur'a, inshallah. Jazakumullah khairan. Wassalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. يا أمة القرآن حبل نجاتنا فتمسكي بعراه كي لا نغرقا يا أمة القرآن حبل نجاتنا فتمسكي Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Welcome back to Global Trust Key Factor, where we went on a very short break, but of course we have come back to listen to the remainder of our Qurra, who had been waiting very patiently to recite for all my viewers and of course even my live audience who I have with me in the studio. Uh, before I go straight to my Qurra, if I can take a minute to speak to Sheikh Farooq, inshallah. Sheikh Farooq, uh, you are right. You are right. In the beginning of the show, I asked you, do you think the show will be even better than the, the previous days? And you are correct. Alhamdulillah, in my opinion, I think the show has only got better. What do you think of uh, the competition today? Will it be very hard in its judging? Over the last few weeks, I've been with you. Yes. But today is the toughest day for me. Subhanallah. Because so far, the whoever recited, it is very difficult to say he is or she is not successful today. Subhanallah. Because our mark is going very similar. Yeah. And we are, you know, as you see, when the recitation is going on, then very closely, just we are just observing then yes. what where he does make a mistake. Any lahna jelly, any kafi, but straight away we just write it down. So we, but today. We are getting less time to pick up the mistakes point. So, subhanAllah, it will be very difficult. So, I'm really impressed today. Uh, today is the toughest day for us, both of us, <laughs> to select the three contests uh, for the next round. May Allah make it easier for you, Sheikh, inshallah. Alhamdulillah, this is the way I would, uh, I would say that. Alhamdulillah, this is the mu'ajizah of the Quran. <laughs> Whenever they're coming and they're reciting, the different taste, and different melody, different voice, different way they're reciting. So, I'm sure the people who are really watching this program they will enjoy the same as we are enjoying inshallah jazakallah khairan to you sheikh without any further delay i will move to my next qari who has been waiting very patiently inshallah will call upon naim ahmed to come and join me on stage alhamdulillah naim looking very confident only 11 years of age but mashallah sitting here with us already having gone through from the live rounds if we can find Naim's parents, Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullah. Assalamu wa rahmatullah. Uh, alhamdulillah, uh, Naim looks very confident. How is he doing in his learning? Yeah, he was practicing last week. Alhamdulillah. Has he been practicing regularly at home? Yeah, regularly. Alhamdulillah. Is Naim at the same time uh, trying to memorize from the Quran? Yes, he done 16. 16 Jews? Yes. He has memorized 16 Jews 16 already? 16 Jews, inshallah. MashaAllah. SubhanAllah. I think this is a ni'mah from Allah. Is uh, Naim also uh, attending school at the same time uh, during his memorization? Is he attending a state school or Islamic school? 
He's going to uh, LA. He's going to uh, Islamic school. Okay, yeah. so Alhamdulillah, he's being able to, you know, practice it in school too. Yes. Alhamdulillah, this is also a very good uh, benefit sometimes of going to Islamic schools, allowing us to, uh, uh, of course, contribute from within the school. Jazakallah khaira. Yeah. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullah naim. Alaikum wa rahmatullah. How are you doing today? Alhamdulillah. Alhamdulillah. You look very confident. Are you feeling confident? Yes. Okay, good to hear with a very bright smile. Inshallah, I will ask Sheikh Mishkat, inshallah, to pick a place for naim to recite from. Barakallahu alaikum. Um, I'd like you to recite from part three, please. Part three. A'udhu billahi minash shaytanir rajeem. بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم يا أيها المزمل قم الليل إلا قليلا نصفه أو انقص منه قليلا أو زد عليه ورتل القرآن ترتيلا إنا سنلقي عليك قولا ثقيلا إن ناشئة الليل هي أشد وطأ وأقوى مقيلا إن لك في سمحا طويلا واذكر اسم ربك وتبتل إليه تبتيلا رب المشرق والمغرب لا إله إلا هو فاتخذه وكيلا واصبر على ما يقولون واهجرهم هجرا جميلا وذرني والمكذبين أولي النعمة ومهلهم قليلا إن لدينا أنكانا وجحيما وطعاما ذا غصة وعذابا أليما صدق الله العظيم ما شاء الله نعيم you seemed confident from the beginning and I can tell why you're confident because you delivered fantastically to all our viewers. Alhamdulillah, let me ask Sheikh Mishkat, inshallah, what his thoughts were on Naim's recitation, inshallah. Um, well done to you, alhamdulillah. Um, you look very confident and your tune, melodious tone, mashallah, is very uh, beautiful. Um, and, I mean, there are, there isn't too much that I can say. I mean, I, I have to say, uh, your your recitation was very good. Just two or three th small uh, mistakes, or you know, uh, we can give you some advice from our from our side. Uh, your shadda, when you say a shaddu, you need to say it more with with actual shadda, not a shaddu, a shaddu, a shaddu, and. Again, in another part, you said anka laun wa jahima. You need to say anka laun wa jahima. Like you need to just stress that more. Um, it seems like you want to move on to the next word uh, too fast. So just pay attention to that. Um, the other thing is um, um, your uh, again. It's your tarqiq. Uh, can I say as well? Same thing came up. So empty mouth, you need to look into that as well, especially with the Ra. Uh, inshallah. Uh, inshallah. But again, this is coming up quite often. I think a lot of those that are viewing can actually look at those mistakes and actually work on, uh, they can actually uh, take uh, take that back. Um, of course. Inshallah. Of course. But well done to you. Uh, alhamdulillah. Uh, we wish you, inshallah. Uh, yes, yes, khairan to you, Naeem. Alhamdulillah, very good advice from the judges, and I do hope you take you on board, inshallah. You can return to your seat now. Alhamdulillah, we have already, of course, as you can see, talent after talent reciting, and I'm, sh I'm sure you all at home are watching as attentively as my judges are listening attentively. So, without any further delay, I will move on to my next 
Qari'a, inshallah, if I can invite Aisha bint Hasnat Chowdhury, inshallah, to come and join me on stage. Aisha will be reciting as soon as her time comes up. But of course, let's take a moment to quickly speak to Aisha's family, inshallah. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullah. Wa alaikum wa rahmatullah. Allah, Aisha, of course, looks very confident. Only 11 years old, but of course, practicing from the Quran. Is Aisha spending time memorizing the Quran? Yeah, mashallah, she's spending time every day. Memorize, memorizing alhamdulillah and who is helping her memorizing her quran um she she learn, she teaches herself because she can read and then yeah. she gets tested by her ustad on the weekend mashallah that's very good alhamdulillah and is uh, is she being consistent in her learning is she re uh, practicing uh, on a regular basis or uh, here and there. Yeah, mashallah, she's um, practicing regularly. Mashallah, yes. mashallah, that's very good to hear. Alhamdulillah, as long as the parents, of course, uh, <laughs> making sure that our children are making sure, or well, rather making sure that they are learning in the best of their ability, this is very important. Assalamu alaikum, Aisha. Alaikum assalam. How are you doing today? I'm fine, alhamdulillah. Alhamdulillah. Have you been practicing your uh, uh, your revision, your Quran for today? Yeah. Alhamdulillah, good to hear that. Okay, so I will kindly ask Sheikh Farooq to pick a place for Aisha to recite from, inshallah. Aisha, could you recite from part three, please? A'udhu billahi minash shaytanir rajeem Bismillahir rahmanir rahim عما يتساءلون عن النبأ العظيم الذي هم فيه مختلفون كلا سيعلمون ثم كلا سيعلمون ألم نجعل الأرض مهادا والجبال أوتادا وخلقناكم أزواجا وجعلنا نومكم سباتا وجعلنا الليل لباسا وجعلنا النهار معاشا وبنينا فوقكم سبعا شدادا وجعلنا سراجا وهاجا وأنزلنا من المعصرات ماء ثجاجا لنخرج به حبا ونباتا وجنات ألفافا إن يوم الفصل كان ميقاتا يوم ينفخ في الصور فتأتون أفواجا وفتحت السماء فكانت أبوابا وسيرت الجبال فكانت سرابا إن جهنم كانت مرصادا عائشة I must stop you there. Jazakillahu khairan to you, mashaAllah. Very confidently reciting. And of course, I can see you're reciting confidently as you wanted to carry on. But unfortunately, your two minutes is up. So inshallah, if I could kindly ask Sheikh Farooq of your thoughts of uh, our young sister Aisha of her recitation, inshallah. Jazakillah. Thank you so much. You recited really well. Alhamdulillah. Very good recitation, I would say. But only one thing I will advise you that this is a competition isn't it it was a bit rush i think so fast take time breathe by bit bit by bit take breath and then slowly slowly don't do faster if you do faster then there is a possibility to make any mistakes there okay so you were it, a bit rush but next time just a bit slow motion okay is it just only this advice i would say if you can just bear this advice from me wherever you go Definitely, you will be successful. Your recitation, there is no lahna jali. Lahna khafi, there are some. But I would say the best thing is just slowly, slowly. Don't do first. It was a bit rash, isn't it? Barakallah fiqh to Sheikh Farooq. I'm sure that's good uh, advice to you to be taking on board, Aisha. And I'm sure you'll be trying your best to perfect it, inshallah. Jazakillah khairan to you, Aisha. Inshallah, you can kindly return to your seats now.
Alhamdulillah, we've already listened to most of our Qur'an of today, but inshallah, we still have two more to listen to today. So inshallah, without any further delay, I will kindly ask Suhaib ibn Hasna Chadri to come and join us on stage. Alhamdulillah, Suhaib only of the tender age of seven, mashallah, but looking as confident as any of our older Qurra. Uh, I believe, of course, uh, Suhaib and Aisha are siblings, and of course, Aisha and Suhaib's parents are with us, of course. Uh, Assalamu alaikum again to you. Wa alaikum assalam. Um, Alhamdulillah, Suhaib is only seven years old. He's already gone through from the live rounds to come to the quarterfinals. Uh, is he as confident as he looks today? Yeah, inshallah, I think he's quite confident today. Inshallah. Al Alhamdulillah. And do sibling, uh, do the siblings help each other at home with their learning? Yeah, his older sister Aisha, who just recited, help, yeah. helps him a lot. Yes. Mashallah, mashallah. And is Suhaib uh, attending like normal school or is he attending Islamic school? or? Yeah, he's going to a public school. And, right. and at the same time, he's fitting in his learning of the Quran at the same time? Yes. Alhamdulillah. So I guess that must be quite a bit of a challenge, of course, uh, with any school, of course. They have a lot of learning at the same time to be keeping up with uh, Islamic studies, of course, learning the Quran. Yeah, Alhamdulillah, but the, yeah, they managed to fit, fit it in after school. MashaAllah, MashaAllah. I'm very glad to hear that. And of course, that is an encouragement for all my reciters out there that no matter where you are, what you are doing within your life, it is also important to be remembering the words of Allah. Suhaib, Assalamu Alaikum. Alaikum Assalam. How are you doing today? I'm fine. Alhamdulillah. Are you feeling confident today? Um, a bit. Okay, inshallah, I believe you will be better as you start reciting. So, inshallah, I will ask Sheikh Mishkat could kindly pick a place for Suhaib to recite from. Suhaib, I'd like you to recite from part number one. A'udhu billahi minash shaytanir rajeem Bismillahir rahmanir rahim Alif lam mim ذلك الكتاب لا ريب فيه هدى للمتقين الذين يؤمنون بالغيب ويقيمون الصلاة ومما رزقناهم ينفقون والذين يؤمنون بما أنزل إليك وما أنزل من قبلك وَبِالْآخِرَةِ هُمْ يُوقِنُونَ أُولَئِكَ عَلَى هُدًى مِنْ رَبِّهِمْ وَأُولَئِكَ هُمُ الْمُفْلِحُونَ إِنَّ الَّذِينَ كَفَرُوا سَوَاءٌ عَلَيْهِمْ أَأَنذَرْتَهُمْ أَمْ لَمْ تُنذِرْهُمْ لَا يُؤْمِنُونَ ختم الله على قلوبهم وعلى سمعهم وعلى أبصارهم قشاوة ولهم عذاب عظيم ومن الناس من يقول آمنا بالله وباليوم الآخر وما هم بمؤمنين يخادعون الله والذين آمنوا وما يخدعون إلا أنفسهم وما يشعرون في قلوبهم مرض فزادهم الله مرضا ولهم عذاب أليم بما كانوا يكذبون وإذا قيل لهم لا تفسدوا في الأرض قالوا إنما نحن مسلحون Suhaib, so, I will stop you there unfortunately you're two minutes up but mashallah looking Confident. I don't know why you said you weren't feeling confident. Are you feeling as confident as you were before? Yes. Alhamdulillah, I think you did fantastically. MashaAllah to you. Let me ask Sheikh Mishkat of your thoughts on Suhaib recitation. Suhaib, well done, MashaAllah. You did really well. Um, you came up, you sat down, you know, you, f you were kind of showing that you were nervous, but Alhamdulillah, you went past it, you've recited now. Are you okay now? Alhamdulillah. Yeah. Alhamdulillah. Well done to your recitation, mashallah. Um, and towards, you could see that as you started re reading, it was, it's becoming easier. Okay, so well done. Um, you just need to just bear in mind with some. You need to practice with your makharij, which is how the letters, um, the sound of the letter, you know, comes out from your, uh, from from you. And for example, your ha. Okay.
Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Yeah? Ha. And you need to look at your Hamza. Okay? Very small advice, but I'm sure, mashallah, Ustad, yeah. you know, he's seven years old. You know, we have to give it to him. Mashallah. mashallah. Yeah. He did brilliantly to come forward and to recite. Alhamdulillah. Barakallahu so, fiqh to you, says um, Alhamdulillah. Just a little bit more practice and you'll come inshallah again. I'm sure of it inshallah. Barakallahu yeah? fiqh. I think uh, all well my done. viewers will of course agree at home really that he did mashallah. fantastically for well yeah. only seven years old. Jazakallah khairan to you. So well inshallah you can return to your seat now. Alhamdulillah, as you can see that today, of course, like we mentioned before, will be a very challenging day for my judges. But of course, we still have one more reciter to go through before we announce the results of today's show. So I will kindly invite Muhammad Ibrahim Al Azad to come and join me on stage, inshallah. <coughs> Alhamdulillah, young brother Muhammad, only 10 years of age, but looking confident as anyone of his age, and of course, even the older contestants on today's show. Let's find Muhammad's uh, family, inshallah. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullah. Wa alaikum wa salam wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. MashaAllah, mashaAllah. Ibra uh, Muhammad's father as confident as Muhammad, inshallah. <laughs> uh, Alhamdulillah, how is Muhammad doing at home with his learning? Uh, he tries best to always. Okay, mashaAllah. Uh, my wife, and I help him. Okay, Alhamdulillah. Is, is he memorizing from the Quran? Yes, five juz. He's you know already what? memorized five juz. Yes, but uh, he's, uh, we are coming from here, from Italy. Okay. Um, nine months. Now he go in madrasa here. Mashallah. Upper school. Mashallah. So uh, you, you have moved from Italy to London now, and Alhamdulillah, you are, of course, still remembering the importance of your children even here. Yes, 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 yes. And uh, is the facilities to be learning, Alhamdulillah, here a bit more better and accessible? Be better, better. It, it tell no academic um, uh, uh, institution. For Quran, Quran and so on. MashaAllah, MashaAllah. Jazakallah khairan. I think this is a privilege, of course, that we sometimes forget how much we have accessible to us in the UK. Alhamdulillah. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullah. Wa alaikum assalam wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. MashaAllah. Would you like me to call you Muhammad or Ibrahim? Ibrahim. Ibrahim. So I will call you Ibrahim as you prefer. Ibrahim, feeling confident today? Yes, Alhamdulillah, inshallah. looking very confident. So I will ask Sheikh Farooq to kindly pick a place for Ibrahim to recite from. <coughs> Ibrahim, could you recite from part one, please? A'udhu billahi minash shaytanir rajeem Bismillahir rahmanir rahim Alif lam Ibrahim, I will stop you there as your two minutes are up, but mashallah, I can see that you're enjoying yourself on the mic. Alhamdulillah, reciting more confidently as you continue. <laughs> Sheikh Farooq, your thoughts, inshallah, on Mah Ibrahim's recitation. Barakallah, mashallah, thank you so much. First of all, I thank Allah Taala who has given nice voice to you. Allah, very nice voice, very powerful voice. 
And you took us to Haram, mashallah. <laughs> you took us to Haram. The Imam is leading Abdul Rahman Sadai's prayer, and we are behind you. Mashallah. Allah Akbar. Very good recitation. Thank you so much. Just only a few more things. If you can just uh, look into, I'm sure, inshallah, your recitation will be better. The You know, the muttaqin, you say muttaqin, it's not tua, it is ta. Okay? So be careful. Ta and tua, these two letters, completely different letters. And ung zila is za. Bima ung zila. Za should be a bit more clearly pronounced. This is za, it's not something else. And then hudam mir rabbihim, in the mir rabbihim, the raw will be pronounced here tarqiq. It is empty mouth, <coughs> lightly pronounced. Just I think you made it a bit highly pronounced. Rabbihim. And oma hum bi mu'minin, there's a mim second followed by ba, it is ikfa. There are two ikfa, you know the nun second ikfa and mim second ikfa. The mim second ikfa, when you want to pronounce it, your this bottom part of your lips is going down a bit. That's why it's called ikfa shafa we. So if you can look into this sort of uh, rules, I'm sure inshallah your recitation will be better. So I hope that inshallah this is not your final uh, destination. You will go bit by bit inshallah, day by day, year by year, you will go top and top inshallah. inshallah. Jazakallah khair. Thank you so much. You recited well. May Allah give you reward for your recitation and may Allah reward your parents as well who prepared you sure. for this competition. Amen. Okay. Barakallahu so, feek you, Sheikh Farooq. Alhamdulillah, Muhammad Ibrahim, very well delivered, and I'm sure you seem very happy with yourself too for its good efforts. Yes? Alhamdulillah. Inshallah, Ibrahim, you can return to your seat now. Assalamu alaikum wa alaikum as salam wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Mashallah, one of our a very polite brother reciting from us for our last recitation for today. And Alhamdulillah, I'm sure. Uh, my judges look very stressed today because of course they have a very stressful job of deciding who will be going through today of course and I wouldn't want to be in their chair and I'm sure you wouldn't want to be in their chairs deciding such a hard job today. My, uh, my audience with me, Alhamdulillah, I believe that everyone has enjoyed their show today. Yeah. Alhamdulillah, Alhamdulillah, it's very good to hear because of course I'm very excited but I think uh, my viewers will agree uh, with me when I say this that Every single one of you, every single one of the 10 contestants who recited today recited utmost best of their uh, efforts. And I'm sure that, of course, as much as we are appreciating it, Allah will appreciate the fact that you are working so hard to make sure that your Quran is sounding as perfect as it did today. And I'm sure you know better than me even when I say this that, of course, as much as you are in the competition, the more important part is that you are carrying on outside of the competition with this hard effort. And I'm sure every one of you, even aside from the competition, will go home and receive a present from your families for your hard work today. I know my judges are finding it very difficult, inshallah, to drop a conclusion. Uh, do we have a conclusion, Sheikh? We want to talk to you. Or <laughs> You'd like to talk to me, of course. You can, inshallah. of course, talk to me. Uh, Shuyukh, if it is more difficult, then, of course, uh, picking the number. And we if you wish to, then you can even... We have got two, but uh, the third, we have two, same number. So do you think we'll just listen to them I again? Or I or think we have got first and second, but third... I the number is same. I so think, uh, Shuyukh, if you are happy with it, then I will be happy that if you believe that both of them are deservant of going through, then you can allow both of them to go through. This is up to you. Okay? And this is a decision that lies with yeah, you at the end of the day. I will make the consecutive <laughs> decision, of course, okay, on behalf of then. my viewers. Inshallah. But if you think they are deserving to go through, we will take more than our usual three. Okay. Inshallah, inshallah. that is completely up to you. Um, Shuyukh, would you like another minute, Inshallah? No, no, it's okay. fine. Alhamdulillah. Subhanallah, we already no. have a conclusion. And of course, this doesn't happen every day but we have more than the usual three that we take every day who will be going through and because I mean Sheikh if I was in your position I would want to let all ten go through but Allah, <laughs> yeah, <laughs> unfortunately Allah, we can't of course Allah. stick into the rules so uh, if I could kindly ask Sheikh Farooq maybe to read Allah. out the winners of today's episode inshallah people came here for recitation and if you can't go to the next round, I'm sure, inshallah, the way you recite it, Allah will give you reward more than that, more than this competition, inshallah. Inshallah. And Quran will recommend for us in the Day of Judgment. We hope that, inshallah, through your recitation, then we will be with you, inshallah, in the Day of Judgment. We will enter in Jannah, inshallah. Inshallah. So, 
those people are not successful, I would say that keep practicing. This event is not your final destination. You will keep reading, keep reading, keep reading. Inshallah, one day you will be successful here and hereafter, inshallah. inshallah. Okay. So I would say... From the list, of Ustaz, if you could have from third, third to, to top. the okay. top, inshallah, that would be very good. That could be about the third. Joined, there are joined. joined third. Joined third is Naeem Ahmed. MashaAllah, well done to Naeem Ahmed. And Amina Jama. And then second, Muhammad Yunus bin Kalam. And the first, Muhammad Masha Hamza Khaliq. Congratulations to everyone. MashaAllah. Yunus bin uh, Khaliq. Ustaz, I think uh, because we are allowing four to go through today, if you could say the names again, again for our beloved viewers to the be noticing Ahmed, the faces. Naim Ahmed. MashaAllah. And Amina Jama. MashaAllah. And then Muhammad Yunus bin Kalam. MashaAllah. And Muhammad Hamza Khaliq. Mabrook to Shabbat all four Shabbat of them. Allah Akbar for Allah going through today. Allah Masha Allah. 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 All of them have recited perfectly. If I could kindly speak to my winners for today for quickly a minute. Hamza, how are you feeling today? Um, I'm feeling um, very happy. Okay, Alhamdulillah. Was it worth the effort from coming from all the way from Swansea today? Um, yes, inshallah. Yeah. Inshallah, and I'm sure uh, you will be encouraging, of course, your brother who didn't go through today, but to come back next year even better, inshallah. Yes, inshallah. Jazakallah khairan to you. If I could also speak to Muhammad, uh, uh, if I could speak to Muhammad Yunus bin Kalam quickly, how are you feeling? Good. Alhamdulillah. Are you happy that you went through today? Yes. Will you be relaxing now, or will you be working even harder now for the semi-finals? Uh, working even more harder. I'm very, very glad to hear that you will be doing so. If I could speak to Naim Ahmed for a second. Naim Ahmed, you have a very big smile on your face. Is that because you have been very proud of yourself for what you have done today? Yes. Alhamdulillah. Will you be thanking your parents today for their hard work in making sure that you did well? Yes. Insha'Allah, I'm very glad that you will be doing so too. And if I could kindly speak to Amina for a second too. Amina, Alhamdulillah, you came on with a smile and you're leaving with a smile. Inshallah. Are you happy that you have gone through today? Yes, Alhamdulillah. Alhamdulillah, will you be practicing as much as you have been doing for the quarterfinal? Actually, I'll practice more. You will be practicing even more? Inshallah. Alhamdulillah, a fantastic answer. Well, <laughs> Jazakumullah khairan to everyone. And there you have it, my respected viewers. They, they are confidently, of course, telling you how much they will be practicing even more with the Quran. Quran and I'm sure you will be doing so too. I have to call an evening to today's show, but of course we will be back next week for another episode of the quarterfinals. But from myself, Qadr Mushid Habib, from my beloved judges, from the hardworking team here, and of course my live audience and of course more important global aid jazakumullah khairan wassalamu alaykum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh